Hi, I'm Dr. Ryan Enke. I'm a physiatrist at Ortho, Illinois, and I work primarily at our Riverside office. So an EMG is a diagnostic test that we do in the clinic here uh, to test for various nerve and muscle conditions, typically for symptoms such as pain, numbness, tingling, or weakness. An EMG test is needed, uh, ordered by your doctor, in order to determine the correct diagnosis for your symptoms. So before an EMG, a patient should take all of their normal medications, they should eat and drink at the their regular times and they should wear uh, loose fitting clothes that would be accessible for the EMG testing. A patient should not wear any lotions or oils on their affected limb that we're testing prior to the EMG. They should also inform us of any medications or if they have a pacemaker. So an EMG can be something that provokes anxiety if you have not had it before, but you can expect a two-part test. The first part would include uh, electrical stimulation to the nerves that we're testing, and the second part includes a small acupuncture-sized needle to test the nerve muscle connections. If you've not had an EMG before, the first part of the test, which involves nerve conduction studies, would feel very similar to going across the carpet and having a mild shock if you touch a surface and uh, but only for that brief amount of time. If you've not had a needle EMG test before that is about the size of an acupuncture sized needle and so it'd feel like a very tiny pinprick into the arm or leg tested. There are no major risks associated with an EMG. There might be some muscle soreness at the needle sites that we test. A typical EMG will depend on the muscles that we're testing and the diagnosis we're testing for, but could be anywhere from 15 minutes to 45 minutes. If you do have any other questions about EMGs, feel free to visit our website at orthoillinois.com.